Okay, here we are with some tigers. We have the detonaire. The detonaire, okay. Most often considered a hunting monster, it's rarely seen in the battle arena. But with the right training, it can be a great fighter. It's all up to you. Up to you! Yes, this one's part zoom. Generally, the tigers don't really change too much. I mean, I don't know. It's interesting that they don't have the purebred tiger first. Well, actually, it's because the zooms come before the tiger in the book. Oh, so this is... well. So, if there had been a golem one, it would have been before this one, but there's no tiger golem. Oh, oh so just like tiger tiger just come later, basically. Yeah, and so see, because we had the zoom, and now we've got tiger, so now tiger's next. Oh, okay, I So it's, a, it's an order of... So, if there's a sub-golem... And that one's always going to be first, if that makes sense. So basically the subs all come in the same order that the mains do. Yes. Okay. Tiger. <laughs> yeah, it's a tiger. Okay. A pure white snowy field looks great as a backdrop to the tiger's blue mane. As affable as it is, it's hard to believe everybody used to be so afraid of it. I've tried making a crochet design for this thing so many times, and I cannot get past the head. That crazy mane has stopped me every time. I'm not good enough to figure out how to do that. Tiger was probably my favorite one of the monsters that was with the team in the anime series. Yeah, I really like Tiger too. I just like the Tiger design, actually. And I feel like I really enjoyed the fact that they have not actually changed it that much since the original Monster Rancher. It holds up. It does. I really like the design. It's simple, but it works. The Jaguar Beat... Sure. The jaguar beat looks similar to the jagged hound, a tiger and worm mix, but this monster is really popular with the kids. Jaguar beats with glossy coats are rare. Yeah, because they had to get freaking rid of worms. I've had so many viewers telling me they never got rid of worms, that worms evolved, and I'm like, are you trying to tell me that they weren't good enough to be by themselves? I don't know. I like the design, honestly. It reminds me a lot, like, I think that's what it makes you mention in the description. It looks like the one that's part sub, or part worm. But this is actually one of my favorite tigers, surprisingly enough. Hmm. I just... It's design to me looks very interesting. That's one word for it. Yeah. It's just unique. It is. The bar guest. Ugh, one of my least favorites. From the time this monster is born in hell, it has only one mission. To strip its opponents of all dignity. Its faintly glowing eyes are just looking for its chance. When I was playing this game as a kid, I think every person, every guy I knew that played this game had one of these. In fact, one of my friends had, like, literally all of his monsters this, and I'm like, oh my gosh. Like the sub-joker? Yes. He had, like, this specific tiger one. I like how his eyes just disappear when he sleeps. That's kind of creepy. I think yep. I had one of those in my Monster Rancher on iOS. You did. And I couldn't, I can't figure out what guys have an obsession with this monster. <laughs> it's a very, very good monster. I mean, it's stats It's very really good. good. It is, it's stats are very good. It's just creepy. I don't like you. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Pod dog. A battle machine created ancient ages ago to be compatible with humans. It was loaded with a prototype emotions AI, but apparently it doesn't work very well. Apparently my iPad can't stay standing up either. Yeah. Yeah, again, it's it's cool. I, I can't... I'm not going to keep repeating myself on this one. Do you remember the uh, the Ibo? A-I-B-O? Yes! The Sony, the Sony dog? Oh my gosh, I had totally forgotten about that. Yeah, they're like... Okay, so for po folks who don't remember, like 10, 15 years ago, like early 2000s, or maybe late 90s even, there was a, a dog that Sony made that was a robotic dog. It was intended to be a pet. It was like several thousand dollars, but kind of reminds me of that. Have a sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Um, yeah, but the thing about the Ibo I remember reading about was it came as a puppy. And so it didn't know anything. And it didn't even... It, and the book came with like... Uh, I didn't own one or anyone else I knew owned one. But I remember reading a lot of papers about it. And it supposedly came with an instruction manual and teach you how to give it basic commands. And then you can keep trying to teach it more stuff. And it acted like a real puppy. Like, I think it actually woke up in the middle of the night crying unless you taught it not to. And I thought it was a really cool idea. I don't know why it died out, honestly. I had totally forgotten about it. 
The Night Fang. One touch of its sleek, dark body, and you'll get a glimpse into its cold and unforgiving heart. But in battle, its graceful moves will impress you. Yep, I think this is pretty much the same thing we said about the golem. <laughs> yep, it's just like a black hole. Yep. It, it's an interesting shaped black hole. Oh my gosh, I... I have this on the highest possible resolution I can get this game in, and it just looks like a big black blob on my screen. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at the Garum. A few Garums have gone stray in recent years and caused trouble at sea. Because of this, sea creatures have many conflicting emotions when they hear its name. I didn't even know sea creatures. I mean, what if you say to a starfish, Gorum, does it start, like, whooshing away? <laughs> I, that's all I can he picture. He has conflicted emotions. He, he may not show it. He doesn't wear it on its sleeve. F you know, figuratively speaking, of course. I I feel like this is kind of a cheaty design here, because this isn't really... F I don't feel like this is part Lozone. I feel like this is a straight ripoff from Monster Rancher 3's Ocean Tiger. They didn't try here. I mean, I like the design, but I feel like they, they kind of ripped off the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, they kind of did. Yeah. I'm going to do a lot of editing, because every time I compare it to something else, I, I probably should put a picture of what I'm talking about. Hmm. Ooh, the the Ryulon. Should probably more correctly be called the Ryun species. Both one-horned and two-horned Ryuns have been sighted. Never take either type lightly. I have never seen one with two horns. Again, I like the design. It's simple. It gets the point across on which subspecies it is. Yeah, it's sub-emo. I kind of wish the only thing they had they had done is made its paws a lot bigger. But... Whee! Ooh, the helm hound. A scientist once wondered if this monster wouldn't be just another dog if it didn't have its shell. She tried valiantly to remove it, but failed miserably. Oh, that's awful! It's like, I wonder if this armadillo can survive without its shell. Let me pull it off. Yeah. It's... Kind yep. of interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Again, I think this was the only game that had the, um... Oh my gosh. What's the armadillo monster called? My brain just died. Whatever the subspecies is, I can't think of it at the moment. <laughs> I'm totally helping you with this information right now because I can remember this. Oh my gosh! It's so cute! It's the White Hound! The White Hound has long ears instead of horns. Recent research reveals that this monster was the tiger's ancient ancestor, and the news is causing a stir. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so cute! It looks like a fox! Gosh, I wish I had played this one. Oh my gosh, I almost want to see if I can start a real game with this. I actually I made a whole new save file just so we wouldn't mess up the old one in case you know we had to go back and replay something. Take it. With a flazer. Oh, oh, that was the one we saw in the volcano. He was a special. Hmm. Ah. Huh. The flazer's skin grows thick to protect it from the severe heat of volcanoes. Its devastating sharp, devastatingly sharp horns go well with its ferocious personality. Oh my gosh, it's so awesome. See, you can still make it look evil and cool at the same time. It kind of looks like, yeah, like the Bargast. dog. Yeah, well, no, I mean, this is cool. So is the Bargast. He kind of looks like he's wearing bell-bottoms. I like it. It kind of does. This is exciting. I did not know you could actually have that monster. Oh, okay. And that is the end of the tiger. This is a good one to end on, actually. I really like it. So. Yeah. Until next time, guys. <laughs>